guys, what's going on? Dark Ace here. Uh, we are... I guess we're back at it again, watching a trailer for KOF 15. I'm pulling a sleepy boy right now, hence the, uh, pillow. Because I literally just got up and just threw on my clothes and shit like that, because we're dealing with a trailer, apparently, and I got, like... Like 20 minutes to get my ass out of the house so I can go to work and shit. So I guess we're gonna be reacting to Team Awakened Orochi. So for the people that don't know who they are, they're obviously Yashiro, Shermi, and Chris, right? But in their Orochi forms. Basically, Yashiro controls Earth and he's a grappler. Shermi controls lightning and she is a zoner character. And Chris controls fire and he's basically an all round character. In other words, Chris is Kyo, Shermi is Benimaru, and Yashiro is Goro, Goro Daimon. So, <laughs> you know what? In retrospect, I guess Goro Daimon is in the game. Like, if you want to count it that. Um, this is a bit of a surprise because I never would have thought that those characters would have been in the game. Like, you would have expected Team Real Bout with, um, with Rick Stroud, Ling Sh uh, Lee Shangfei, and Alfred, or Team Outlaw with Shenmue, Duelon, Oswald, like, Team Kim with Kim, Don Juan, Jae Hoon, like, you would have expected that line of characters, but no. No, 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 we have this. Um, I'm not angry, let alone I'm not actually excited for these characters. If anything, I'm kind of excited for Yashiro because I want to see if I can be able to use my grappling skills to test, to be very honest with you. I mean, I love Yashiro already. Yashiro, regular Yashiro is like the character to use. But yeah, we are kind of running out of time. So without further ado, let's just get started. I'm gonna watch this twice and watch it in slow-mo and then we'll be done. So let's let's get this over with. Whoa, check it out! A new challenger is ready to brawl. Team three. Oh, wait a minute. Those are the um, the costumes for KOF All-Star. I recognize those. But I'm pretty sure those are their uh, Heavenly Kings costumes, like Gainets. So I can understand now. I can understand now. Oh, shit. Oh, those are teasers. Okay. And I already saw the um the final edition. But why does it have its own trailer? I don't get it. Wow. Well, so much for the, um, the thing that I was trying to do. Watch it twice and then watch it in slow-mo because there's nothing to watch. <laughs> Ultimate Match Final Edition. Available on PS4 and Steam. Get it now. Um, I guess that's it, yo. I guess that's it. You know what? Let me just go back. Nothing to watch anyway, but yeah. But yeah, they're definitely wearing their Heavenly Kings costumes, bro. You know what? I appreciate the change. I appreciate the change. That's really cool. Chris. God damn. Yo, Chris looking crazy, bruh. With those red eyes. And I appreciate that Shermi has her purple hair again. That's really cool. I really appreciate that she has her purple hair again. So that's freaking awesome. But I'm not excited for these characters, bruh. I mean, 
Don't get me wrong, I am gonna be using the crap out of uh, Orochi Yashiro. Maybe Chris, maybe Shermie, I don't know, man. W we'll have to see. But they are team three, and we have no idea who team four is. And all I'm saying right now is that, um, please let it be team real bout. Team real bout, team Kim, Team Outlaw with Dulon, Shenwu, and Oswald. Have it be like a team that we can be able to like all enjoy. That we can be hyped for. That hasn't been in the game in like since KOF 13 or hasn't been in the game for almost two decades. Actually, two decades and change, almost three decades. Like, come on, yo, S and K, put Rick Stroud in the game. Put Rick Stroud in this game. Alright? Because we have four Kios in KOF uh, 2002 Unlimited match, okay? Oh, but it's a different game than this game. I don't care. It happened. It happened. And now with this, we have Orochi Chris, Orochi Shermie, and Orochi Yashiro, okay? So in hindsight, in retrospect, in essence, Rick Stroud can coincide playing alongside Vanessa. So for anyone who has the audacity to bring up that excuse in that type of situation saying that Rick Stroud can't be in the game because Vanessa's in it. Stop. Take a seat. Just think. Just take a seat. Okay? Thank you. Well, I guess that's it, guys. Like, I have nothing to say about this other than this is a teaser trailer for those characters. Now, I understand the like, it said teaser. One, I'm still trying to freaking process what the heck is going on, and I'm still trying to awake, hence the pillow. Am I excited for these characters? Probably not, but am I going to be using Orochi Yashiro? Definitely so. Like, I want to see what changes do they have, and especially the climaxes, bro. Especially the climaxes. I'm trying to figure out what they are. I just hope to God that Yashiro doesn't have that like that 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 freaking that punch move that he had in 2002 um like add some spice into it guys i'm done if you like this video make sure you uh hit the like button subscribe share do all the things in the description below um i'm currently dealing with tekken rate the endings i already have one two three tag four and five down so if you guys want to see those uh, there is the, the eye shit, I forgot what it's called, the card, there you go, there's the card, uh, make sure you, uh, check it out, see what you think. This happened since around this time last year, and the person that I should thank me doing the Rate the Endings is definitely Chris B. Monkey, okay, so if you want to see him, make sure you subscribe to him, because he is funny, dude, like... His content is hilarious. By the way, 18 and up if you want to see his art. There's his Twitter. But uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.